today. For any pet owner, and today though, we've got with us someone to break it all down. We've got Dr. Amanda Beck. She's the only veterinary oncologist specialist for a 200 mile radius. Wow. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Thank you very much. Nice uh, to be here. So, uh, what does that exactly mean? And it's amazing though. 200 sure. miles. It's just <laughs> you. Tell us sure. a little bit about what you. So it means that after veterinary school, I went to on to do an internship, and then I did three year or three re, three year residency, <laughs> excuse me, where I just focused on oncology, and then mm -hmm. I had to take a big test and do some things to become a specialist in that area. So and for your job now, that becomes a little bit helpful, I guess, because. For sure. <laughs> so we offer cancer care here in the Arklatex area um, because otherwise they would have to go to Dallas or LSU or something like that. So that's why it's really nice to be here in this area um, and be able to offer that ther therapy for animals in this area. And so many types of cancer, unfortunately, that yes. can hit our pets. And one of the most common, though, that you were going to talk about is lymphoma. Yes, so lymphoma is a very common diagnosis in dogs. Um, and one of the things that, one of the main reasons that often brings them to us mm -hmm. with that diagnosis is enlarged lymph nodes, which is why I have the little visual aid here. Yes. <laughs> so I can hopefully help you guys um, identify where the lymph nodes are in dogs in particular. Cats rarely get enlarged lymph nodes, so we're focusing on dogs today. Um, but I just kind of, um, normally lymph nodes are not going to be felt by owners. They're not going to feel them unless they're enlarged for some reason. But if they ever feel a lump that feels firm, this is underneath the skin, it may feel like a walnut or something like that, mm -hmm. a swelling. Um, and these are the, just the different areas on the body. They have some behind the knees and in the groin area um, that may become enlarged. And it's something if you notice that to bring it in right away and sort of what it happens sure. next, how can you test and say, oh, this is cancerous because they're not always cancerous. Sure, that is very true. Um, and so it's important to understand what's going on. And so one of the easiest ways to get a, a, at least an initial diagnosis is we do what's called an aspirate. Mm -hmm. So we t stick a small needle into the lymph node and we suction out some cells with a syringe. It's a quick, it's painless. They don't have to be sedated or anesthetized. So. I think we have a photo of you doing exactly that. You can see that um, if we'll, we can pop that up, there's a photo of you hard at work. On the <laughs> but it's um, a really simple process and if it's not able to pop up on air, I'll make sure to include that in the, um, the website sure. as well. And of course, there it is. Okay. Um, it's yeah. The, the dog doesn't look like to be as bothered, so you nope. don't have to worry um, if you bring them in for this. We have so much we could talk about with this, but we are going to include the UVH uh, blog post for you on our website, arclatexhomepage.com. Uh, Dr. Beck, thanks for being with Thank us this morning. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. All right, stay with us. Coming up, Josh has a final check of our forecast after the break.